Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Michael here from workingonthego.net, and this is just a short little demo type video. It's not a how to tutorial, really, just to bring to your attention an app out there called WritePad, which, in line with our motto, is a productive app for working on the move. Let's face it, the beauty of an iPad is portability, lack of cabling, etc. etc. You all know if you have one. And this is a little app that helps you turn that iPad into a little bit more of a productive tool, particularly for business. Personally, I use this app all the time for composing pretty lengthy emails or instructions to staff back at the office. It looks complicated when you look at my screen, but it's not. And if we just click the help section, it really is one of the best help sections I've come across in quite a long time. And if we scroll through the help section and click the online help at the bottom, you'll see how detailed that is by way of instructions for you. It has everything there to get you up and going. And a little bit of practice along with this help section, you can make great use of the app. There are very clever little things like inserting contacts, from your iPad and indeed creating shortcuts for text that you use consistently. Uh, there are piles of bells and whistles, but just to give you a quick little demo, I haven't got time to do a lengthy one. I have this particular handwriting section open, which gives me the box. So I'll just type a few words. Now, as you see, my handwriting is being recognized. And if I click that button there, up we go. Quite powerful. The other way to use it is to use the full screen. And we just type some gibberish again. It's recognized it correctly. So I click the done button and in it goes. Now the point is that you can type all day long, long, short, document whatever and use your handwriting i don't know about you but sometimes i have to handwrite my thoughts to think them through and to make my work more productive maybe you're the same others may prefer or have no problem with their ipads on screen keyboard and if so don't bother with the app but i believe this is a useful and powerful one and the only downside is that you will have to buy a stylus, particularly if you're going to use it productively and extensively, and if you're going to use it for business purposes, because it gives you greater accuracy and speed. The other thing worth mentioning is that the more you use this app, the better the app recognizes your handwriting. And to try and finish off with just a few pointers, what I love about it is if you click that button, you'll see your options once you've created your document. You can print it, email it, send it to Google Docs, Twitter, Facebook, share it. And what's not apparent on the screen there is that you can synchronize any document you create with Dropbox, which is an absolute must as far as I'm concerned. And anyone who doesn't use Dropbox should and should check out our site where we have a few posts on the power of Dropbox. Because basically on the move, I create documents, instructions for staff, whatever, using WritePad, it automatically syncs with my PC back at the office. Staff have access to my Dropbox folder and happy days, the message is out and we get the work done. So folks, give this app a go. It really is quite powerful. I've only given you a short little demo, haven't even gone through all of the brilliant features contained in it. And believe me, when you get the hang of using a stylus on your iPad screen, you can really do quite a lot. You should also check out my post on Penultimate, which is another simple app without the bells and whistles, but it might be the one for you. So I'll sign off, folks, wishing you all the best. Try this out, because I've no commercial association with either Apple or the developer of this app, and I'm just trying to give you a little bit of info that might or mightn't be of interest to you. I hope it is. Bye.